Hey, Jordan Mason, and it's over. Brock Purdy, a career high. 339 yards, two touchdowns, a pick. 19 for 27. It's over. 127 to go. Come on. Put him away, Brock. Close it out, Jordan Mason. Oh, up the middle. That Fred Warner is an Eddie Haskell bully. He's starting stuff. He's a menace over there messing with DK Metcalf. But you know what he did? He got poor Demo Lenore thrown out the game. Demo had his, had his boys back. Demo had Demo had uh, Fred Warner's back. He hits DK Metcalf, and he gets tossed. What's up with that? What's up with that? And officially, with one minute, 15 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, Niners up 28-15. Hell has frozen over. The dogs and cats are friends. J.P. Mason is in the game. And the 49er fans are going to be shooting for them. Dallas Cowboys, baby, because we want that number one seed in the NFC. We can get it right back. Cowboys win. Eagles lose. We handle our business. Fred Ward is on screen. That boy is a bully. He Eddie Haskell his way. He, met, he messed with DK. He took advantage of DK's emotions. All right, Brock, Brock's trying to put this game away. 35 seconds left. There it is. Victory. Neal. That's it. Brock Purdy didn't get another 30. Let's just face it. This game was not as intense as last week. It's not like going to take on the Eagles in Philly. Even though it's been a big rivalry, Pete Carroll and the Seahawks needed this game. But it wasn't meant to be. They they play tough. A um, couple injuries. I don't like that. Javarius Ward. I don't like that. He got a growing injury. But whoa, the secondary stepped up. Um, let's just go. Let's just get. Let's get to down to business. Um, Javarius Ward. That's the only real concern. A growing injury. Um, but you know, I said it. And what to watch for? I'll tell you what, watch for DK Metcalf. Wouldn't be surprised if he had a big play. And that was, you know, if you're going to do anything, challenge uh, Ambry Thomas. But Ambry Thomas, for the most part, held up. You know, DK kind of rampaged. He, he, uh, what did DK end up with? He had those a couple catches early. Come on, stats, where you at? DK Metcalf, two, uh, two catches, 52 yards. He had the big one. You're not going to hold that down, that guy down all the, the whole, you know, two games in a row. But whoa, Demo Lenore, who got kicked out having Fred Warner's back. Fred Warner causes all the ruckus. Two guys get thrown out of the game. D, uh, DK and Diamond Lenore, they're both out of the game, missing money. Fred Warner, another tremendous, um, not, tremendous, tremendous game for Fred Warner. But like I said, Demo Lenore, what a good game, Diamondor. You are stepping up. I don't know if he's a number one corner, but I always liked him. He's tough. He's moved, He goes outside corner. Go to Nickelback. Taking on the number one receivers. He kind of, he, he was tough with, uh, he is quite oversized by DK Metcalf. And man, he is like a pit bull. I like Demo since we picked him up, uh, since we drafted him. Man, he was, you know, he had, he punks, I forgot who it was. He punked at someone out in training camp. He think he got in trouble. Uh, the, on his rookie season, but you know, I like that. Like I said, uh, Ambry Thomas got beat a little bit. No problem with that. The Ambry, uh, but it, it's gonna happen. The Niners, the, the Niners secondary is looking good, and that pass rush is on. You know, is on, baby. It when the Niners get a lead, I mean, it's 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 rough for you. Let's look at the rushing stats. Niners. Uh, the, the Seahawks, 20, 20 rushes, 70 yards for 
I mean, that's it's it's looking good for that. There's nothing to say, nothing to complain about, baby. This was a handle your business game at home to keep pace, to keep yourself in line for that number one spot. You could have looked past this game because you had a Philly last week. You got the, the Ravens next week. And the 49ers handling their business, doing a great job. Nice, nice, nice work. I already talked about Demo. I really like what he's doing. DeAmbry Thomas, I like what he's doing. Let's keep talking about the secondary. Jair Brown, he got a pick today. He he's, he, he misses a couple tackles. Uh, he missed a tackle, maybe could have saved a touchdown. Um, but a big pick today. Everyone's looking better. Uh, this this secondary. This is the revelation. This is the revelation in the 49ers, the whole team. Just think about it. Your number one cornerback, your various ward who's been playing fantastic, goes out with a growing. Uh, and they haven't missed a beat. Like I said, Demo Lenore stepped up. He should have had that pick. Uh, you know, he, he just looks tough out there. Okay, that that's a revelation. You can have that guy inside or outside. All right, uh, Ambry Thomas, like I said, got beat a little bit uh, by DK Metcalf. You can't just, that guy's a monster. He's going to make some plays. Um, I was exp I was watching for that, but after the first quarter, nothing. Zero, zilch, not a damn thing. Except for a bunch of te temper tantrums and roid rages, bro. I'm not saying he's on roids, but he's kind of, you know. I'm not saying he's not either. I, I'm i loving it. Uh, huge. Uh, speaking of injuries, I want to be fair to the Seahawks. Devon Witherspoon, the fantastic um, corner for the Seahawks. He had an injury himself. But, whoa. Debo Samuels, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle. Tremendous game. Debo Samuels. Seven catches, 149 yards, 21 per, a touchdown, a 54-yarder. Uh, I'm tired of all the propaganda, the fake news saying Brock is limited. Yeah, he can't throw 60, but he threw you know, a 54-yarder Debo. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He's got enough. Uh, you know, if you want to be a damn fool... And not respect this guy, do it, cause it'll keep my team winning. I don't care about no trophies or MVPs. It's been since 1994 since there's been a Lombardi Trophy in the San Francisco Bay, and I want it this year. I don't give a damn about anything else. Give me the award. Speaking of MVPs, Christian McCaffrey, 16 carries, 145 yards, no touchdowns, but he had that big play, a long of 72. Like I said, the game wasn't as tense, but there was some big, big plays in this game. And all the big players came through. Christian McCaffrey came through. Debo Samuels, 149 yards. Brandon Ayuki had the fumble, but six catches, 126 yards, 45 long. Look at a big play. Uh, George Kittle, big plays down the stretch. We need in them. Three catches, 76 yards. He's the one who closed out the game. Nice to see Jordan Mason. He caught a pass. Uh, Charlie Warner, um, good blocking, good special teams. Uh, Sam Womack, um, second year corner, but he's been good on special teams. Special teams have been good. Which Nowski, our punter, has been fantastic. He had a run taken away. Which now, don't discount that team. When you got this defense pinning you back within, inside your 10, that's a long road to hoe when you're facing the red and gold, baby. We're looking good. Wisnowski has been as good as his position as anyone else. I'm not saying he's the most important player, but what he he's doing what he does for this team as good as anybody else on the team. And that's saying something because we got some damn good players. Trent Williams looking good. Uh, Drake Brendel a little a little bit overpowered. Yeah, highlights of that. We're looking, McCaffrey. You got a score there, bro. I got you on fantasy. But another good sign. Only 16 carries for McCaffrey. I think that's perfect. You don't want to wear him out. But, I mean, you could have got him one. He's on my fantasy team. Come on, Kyle. And this catch by uh, DK is on Ambry. Uh, DK, I mean, that, that, that could have that been a penalty. 
Look at my man, George Kittle, delivering with that touchdown over there. He had 76 yards and a touchdown. He put it away. This is the thing about the 49ers. And this is a big game. Not as intense as last week. Probably won't be as intense as next week. The main guys, the money players, they deliver in the big games. McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk, Kittle, Brock. Those guys deliver in big games. What more can you ask for? I don't I don't see a question mark on this offense of like when's this guy, guy gonna show up? Brock Purdy? Hey, you had a chance to, to put a team away. You have a chance to have a take care of business game. They have a chance to get back in the number one seed. 19 for 27, 368 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. To be honest, his worst games, that's when he throws for the most yardage. That, that, that's the facts. A lot of, a lot of these quarterbacks, their, their most inefficient games is when they, uh, they throw for the most yardage. But 20, 27, 27, uh, 27 passes, 368 yards. That's good stuff. That, that's, that is efficiency, baby. And some big plays. I said it before. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the dead horse. It ain't about. It ain't about doing it all yourself. Do you know what people who do it all themselves in team sports are? You call them losers. You got people to keep happy. You got to keep McCaffrey happy. You got to keep Debo, Ayuk, and Kittle, and even Jawan Jennings. That's a that's a good player. You're keeping a lot of people happy as a second-year quarterback. Ain't no one bitching, complaining, and moaning. They're not getting the ball. He's spreading it around. And maybe at his own expense. And you got you got, you got, got the top guys. You got Debo and Ayuk when he does talk. Kittle, they have his back. Instead of bitching to him, saying, Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Like, no, that's my quarterback, man. Because it's fair. He's not trying to play on his own. He's humble. Look at that is a skill. Keeping big time stars who everyone makes ten million dollars or more more than you, except for maybe Jawan Jennings. There's a lot of money. McCaffrey, Debo, IU can kill. They make some big time dough. Brock don't even make a million. He's keeping them happy. Keep me happy by not listening to nobody, Brock. Just do your damn job. Hey, when they when they play in, they make you go over the top. Go over the top. Hey, if they're gonna make if they're gonna make you beat them with short passes, beat them with short passes. Just play the damn game in front of you. We're gonna be all right. Let me get down my list so you can get out. You know what? There's there's other uh, there's other broadcasts you want to see, but Brock, a 54 yarder. Someone's gonna have something to say, but all you're gonna do is make the play in front of you. Let's go, Brock. All right, like I said, not as intense, but this was a big game. Right now, we have a shot at the number one spot. And we're going to be rooting for the Cowboys. Unbelievable. All right, the, the, the one negative here, Isaiah Oliver, um, he was out there a little bit because of the injury to Javarius Ward. I really don't want to see him as a cornerback unless he has a future as a safety. I'm not sure I want to see him at cornerback. Maybe that's still the weak link. Players get injured. Our best quarterback is injured. Our defensive back, our, our uh, make sure I'm saying that, but dang, uh, a little congested. But our cornerback, defensive back, Javarius Ward, injured, growing. That that is that is concerning. But Debo, I mean, uh, De Diamond or Lenore, and um, and Ambry Thomas have looked good. Um, Womack looks good. I'd rather see Womack and Luter. I know Luter's hurt. I'd rather see them out there than um, Isaiah Oliver. I'm not sure he has a place on this team unless it's maybe you see a future as a backup safety. But hey, it's going to be time to watch. I'm about to put the star. I'm about to be a Cowboy fan. I never thought I'd say that, but here we go. All right, baby. Watch for me. Watch for Gary Lamb, Man Event Mania. Watch for likes and dislikes. Round two, Seattle. Versus the 49ers. Watch for what to watch for against the Baltimore Ravens. Christian McCaffrey, 145 yards on the ground. 
Debo and Ayuk both go way over 100. Kittle, big plays and a touchdown. Brock Purdy, another good play. Big play, he'll know, he won't get credit for. 368 yards. 13.6 per, but he's just a dink and dunk guy. That's a bunch of bullshit, right? But you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I don't care anymore. I'm out of here. God bless you. Keep it real. Keep it clean. Gary Lamb, Event Mania. Out, baby. Woo!